and welcome back to another fossil hunting video. I've come out collecting with Dan today. There's been some really big seas and lots of rain yesterday, so hopefully the collecting is quite good. Let's get on and see what we can find. The first find of the day is this pyrite nodule, absolutely full of Elegantissera salmonites. You can see the keels sticking out of the side of the rock, so it's a really good indicator that there could be more on the inside. This shale slab is absolutely full of really crushed Elegantissera ammonites. It must have been a deathbed back when the seas were absolutely teeming with ammonite life. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and giving the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Quite a sea worn nodule here with a Dactylioceros ammonite on the inside. Although it's been really wave worn, these do prepare out really nice and sometimes they even split open well with a hammer and chisel. This is a really poorly preserved but quite rare Ovatisserus ammonite. Even though the middle is not preserved, I do knock the edge off which exposes the nice keel of the ammonite. Go, oh, yep. There was a little duck. There was a duck in there, yeah, but I can deal with that. Oh. When there's nothing showing on the outside of a nodule, it's worth giving it a tap with your hammer because otherwise you'll end up carrying tons of rocks up off the beach, which are all empty. This is a nice example of an ammonite with a keel showing. It's really obvious on the beach, so it goes straight in my bag. I've just found something really good. Let me show you it. Can you spot it? There's a huge ichthyosaur paddle digit right there and what looks like another one there so there's definitely a good few huge ichthyosaur paddle digits inside that. This is one of the many flipper bones or paddle digits from a 180 million year old ichthyosaur which was a sea creature back in the Jurassic. These marine reptile fossils are really rare around here, so I'm really pleased with this find. So we're just making his way back now. We've both got two very heavy bags, but still room for more really good fossils. So let's see what we can pick up on the way back. Thank you. 
someone had already broken open this nodule looking for the famous Whitby cannonballs. There was a really nice ammonite on the inside but unfortunately it's broken or shattered when they've hit it with the hammer. This is a really unusual shaped nodule and it's really heavy due to the iron pyrite on the inside of the rock. There's some little ammonites on the surface. I did leave this one as it was really heavy to get back up the cliff. This is one of Dan's finds, a really big nodule with loads of Elegantisrus ammonites on the inside. I'm not even going to tell you what's on the inside of this rock, try and guess from the shape and the colour. Remember guys, if you do enjoy watching my fossil hunting videos, please hit that like button if you've enjoyed it and subscribe for more fossil hunts. I'll see you all in the next video. Hi everyone, I'm back up from the beach now. Let's go ahead and take a look at today's best find and then compare it to a find I found in the same spot roughly a month or so ago. So here is today's best find, a really big ichthyosaur paddle digit and possibly another few on the back. You can see the matrix is solid iron pyrite shelly type material and there's a piece of fossilised wood washed up on the back. A few months ago I did find this piece roughly in the same spot. This one also has washed up against a piece of fossilised wood. You can see how the paddle digits are laid on top of each other. Really big paddle digits, although not as big as this one. Ichthyosaurs did have different sized paddle digits, depending on whereabouts the paddle digit came from on the animal. So there's always a possibility that they came from the same creature.